Hey everyone, it's Craig here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your scheduling for posts within Content Revenge. So, first thing you want to do here, uh, if you notice, I have two keyword files. I have my primary and I have my secondary. We're going to start with our primary keywords, and uh, first thing you want to do is sort your primary keywords, as I'd mentioned um, earlier by keyword rating so that uh, all your amazing uh, keywords come up first and then from those amazing keywords uh, you will have previously chosen a domain name um, from one of these keywords and I should probably mention I don't always go with the highest uh, searches per month because sometimes those have even more competition than I like even if they are amazing um, you have to do a little bit of research to make sure that uh, indeed this is this is a good keyword to go after not only because uh, the domain makes sense um, the length of the domain the, the domain and also uh, the real competition um, so I would probably choose I may go with this one as my primary domain um, however it's a bit long but uh, I do like it because it has low competing page strength or the, the competing page strength against it is low um, this niche probably isn't the best niche uh, to go after only because I typically like to go after niches that have um, low or very low competing page strength um, indications here um, but for this example it'll work just fine um, again you'll want to do a little bit more research to make sure that you are indeed choosing the right keyword uh, for your domain and for your primary post so I'm just gonna go after uh, this domain or I'm sorry this keyword here for our primary post we'll go back into content revenge um, we will have selected the, uh, the proper category for this post, whichever you choose to, uh, uh, to use as your primary post category. We want to make sure that there are no spaces after that uh, keyword. Um, I like to go with uh, 17 to 20 results per post. And for this primary keyword, you are going to want to choose today's date. So whatever day you are doing this, choose that date. Today's the 11th of, uh, I'm sorry, the 9th of November, 2011. And we will save and generate. Okay, we generated one post. That is our primary keyword. Again, that primary keyword is should be the same as your uh, exact match domain name. Now we want to go to reading underneath settings here. We want to make sure that uh, our blog pages show at most one post. This means it's only going to have one post um, on the home page. I also like to set my feed items at 15. We're going to save that. Okay, we're going to go to posts now. Here's the post that we generated. Again, this is our primary amazing keyword, um, the one that represents your exact match domain. We're going to check this post out here, open it up. And you want to go over here to Visibility Public and click Edit. And you want to select this box, stick this post to the front page. This is going to make this post uh, static so that it's the only uh, bit of content, the only post that will show up on your blog's home page. And the reason for doing that is it helps uh, to rank for this particular keyword because that, that particular page is now going to be extremely relevant exclusively to that keyword without being diluted uh, with other posts coming through. Okay, so we'll want to update that. Okay, good. Let's go check out the post. Okay, here we go. This blog looks a bit empty because, again, we've only posted one uh, post as of yet but it looks very good wonderful okay we're gonna go back to uh, our keywords and we want to select all of our amazing keywords now I think we have 28 here we're gonna grab those and we're gonna go back to content revenge close that go to content revenge here in WordPress delete this uh, keyword that you just posted paste in the rest of your amazings get rid of that last space um, one more thing uh, content revenge does not post duplicate keywords okay um, if you remember we did uh, already post this particular keyword right here I'm sorry 
this keyword right here. You can delete it, but if you forget, it's not a big deal because Content Revenge will not post it as it's already been posted. Okay, so we want to select here. We can keep this selected the same or you can change it. It's not bad to change it up. Maybe I'll go to 16 just to give it a little more randomization. Now for the date, because we've already posted today, we don't want to continue posting today, nor do we want to post tomorrow. We want to give it one day of rest so that it doesn't look like we're hammering this blog right out of the gate. So I'm going to choose uh, two days from now. So the next, these, these uh, keywords will not start posting until the 11th. All right, that just looks a little more natural. It looks like you're not uh, hammering away with an auto uh, content generator, which we are, but we also want to play it safe. Okay, so two days from now, these will start begin to post. And we select everything as usual here. Click Save. All right, now the next thing we want to do is go back to Posts. And we want to see the date that our last post, out of all those amazings that we just posted, um, our last schedule is going to be on the 19th is when our last post will be uh, generated. So November 19th, keep that in mind. Let's go back to our keywords again, and let's go grab our, our good and our great, okay? So here we go. We have the good, and we have all of our great. One other thing I want to mention that I did right before this video is this uh, spreadsheet, when it was generated by the output of the keyword the keyword tool it had quotes around each one of these keywords because I had ran the search previously using phrase match you want to do a find uh, for this column a find for quotes and then replace it with a delete that way it removes uh, those characters from your uh, from your keyword list okay just make sure your keyword list is clean no dashes, uh, percentages, uh, commas, periods, and quotes. Make sure it's just strictly uh, text, okay? So we're going to grab the rest of these good and great keywords, and we're going to go back to our content revenge. Remember the last uh, post scheduled is for uh, the 19th, so we are going to go to content revenge, delete these keywords here, paste in our good and our great, get rid of that last space, and we're going to schedule this for the 20th because our last scheduled post for those amazing keywords was the 19th, so we have, uh, we have to select the very next day so that these continue to drip feed going forward. We don't want to double up though and have too many posts going out per day. That's why we're, we're scheduling it like this, so we have the 20th uh, for these next good and great keywords. Let's go ahead and save this. Okay, then uh, we will go back to posts again. That generated 132 posts. Okay, so that means those posts are gonna continue being scheduled out until uh, January 1st of 2012. That gives us quite a bit of content going forward. However, going back to our keywords here, we still have these keywords labeled as bad, meaning they're gonna be difficult to rank for. I still would like to put those into my blog even though I may not, most likely will not get ranked for those. However, it will add relevancy to the site and it will also give visitors to the site uh, more content to peruse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these and uh, I don't have this open yet. I'm going to open up my secondary keywords which came from the other tool. Okay, and I'm going to put the bads. Let's see, I don't think I have those on my clipboard anymore. We're grabbing the bads and we're copying these. Now we'll go to our secondary. And I'm going to insert these at the top here because that means they will get uh, uh, posted last. So let's insert those. All right. Now what we've done is we've just added to our secondary keyword list and the secondary keyword list consists of our bad and our long tail Google suggest. These bad we probably don't want to um, post until really far into the future at the very end. We want to get these Google suggest 
uh, posted next. So either way though, this is just going to be extra content. So what we'll do is we're going to grab these uh, first thousand. Okay, so let's uh, scroll down to a thousand. Okay, we're going to grab the first thousand of our secondary keywords. Let's copy those, go back to Content Revenge. And remember, we still have posts going out until January 1st of 2012. So we'll go back into Content Revenge here. We're going to delete these old keywords, paste in our new ones, get rid of that back last space. And again, if you want to put these uh, as you post into different categories, you most certainly can. I usually don't, but uh, if you feel like categorizing your keywords and posting them to specific categories, it certainly uh, doesn't hurt. In fact, it could possibly be even more beneficial to uh, tighten up the theme of your blog. Um, again, I'm all about production. I usually don't go through the hassle of doing that. Um, let's change this up again. So just to give it a little more randomization, let's go uh, Let's go 15 to 20. Now we want to change this to January 1st, 2012, or I'm sorry, January 2nd, because our last post is already scheduled to end on the 1st. So let's go up to the 2nd here. And this just allows us to continually drip feed our blog going much further into the future um, without overlapping all these posts so that we duplicate, or not duplicate, but over publish and that just looks unnatural if you're hammering out you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 posts a day. It certainly can be done, and I have done it on my blogs. However, I don't recommend it. Google is getting more strict uh, by the day, and it's good to play by the rules. We're already using automated content here. So uh, if you can comply somewhat by um, posting out on a regular schedule that is not overdoing it, you stand to uh, do a lot better. One other thing I want to mention about these uh, secondary keywords. If you're using expired domain names or you have an, uh, a domain that you're going to be running content revenge on <clears throat> which is established and is over a year old and it has a decent base of links um, then you can certainly post these historically going back all the way to 2006. Um, I do that with uh, expired domain names and it works extremely well and I've even done it on brand new domain names. However, I do not recommend it because it just does not look natural. If you have a domain name that you just bought within the last week or month, you certainly don't want to show posts from 2005 or 6 or 7, okay? Um, not to say that it doesn't work, um, but there is that risk factor there that ups the ante. And uh, you can certainly get all those posts out there and, and begin to drive traffic to them, but I cannot guarantee that they will last uh, uh, very long, although they might, because I still have some that are last have lasted for like eight, eight to ten months right now that I've done that. Um, it's totally up to you. I'm just telling you what your options are here, and uh, in this video, I'm showing you the way that we are doing it now. Okay, so this domain is is fairly new. I think it's uh, only a couple months old. I'm not going to post historically. Uh, I'm going to post these considerably fur farther into uh, uh, the future using these, this posting schedule. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to hit post. And that should generate uh, 999 posts. Let's go check out our post here and see when, how far into the future this is going to be. Uh, this will be posting all the way into uh, Jan or, I'm sorry, December 3rd of 2012, which is essentially 13 months. So we have generated content to post in the future for the next 13 months. All right? Um, I think that's it. Thanks again for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.